Hi there everybody, I am currently at my parents house. Madeline is in the back there. I'm not sure if you can actually see her or not. It is Wednesday, which means it is sushi night and um, it is very dark out. Um, it's really not that late out, but um, I went to work today. So today was my second day back at work and after work I had an eye doctor appointment, which I will probably tell you about a little bit later. I've got some weird things going on with my eyes and so um, yeah, it's just a little rough right now. So anyway, we're gonna go inside and get sushi. Madeline is sleeping, but just in case she wakes up, I have her in front of the Christmas tree. She can't figure out how to make a salad. Your boyfriend can't figure out how to make a salad? Would you like to tell the people of YouTube about your struggles? My boyfriend said he can't make a salad. Why can't he make a salad? I, I told him, I gave him. He's like, I have spinach and cucumber and peppers. And I was like, all right, stick them in a bowl and put some dressing on it. Told him to add goat cheese though. And they text me, well, I can't salad. I mean, really all you need is like lettuce or spinach and like olive oil or vinegar or something. And you've all got you a need salad. is lettuce. That's a salad in itself. Yeah, just eat lettuce. Just like get like a, um, like iceberg lettuce or like a head of lettuce and just chomp right down into that. Hey, sweetie. Someday you'll be able to eat a salad. Someday. Are you or a hungry you, you baby? Like, oh, yeah, you a hungry baby? Try and be, like, I have a bottle for you. I do. Head. You want your bottle? You like that? Do you like that? What do you think? I can barely see you. I can barely see you. Yummy bottle. Yummy bottle. Probably like looking at the Christmas tree as she eats. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my bathroom and I have to be really quiet because Madeline is sleeping and she hasn't really been sleeping much all day, but I need to take a shower really bad and there's nobody here to watch her. So I really hope that I can take a shower and that she will sleep through it. I hope she doesn't start screaming when I get in or when I turn it on, but I'm trying to be really quiet so that I don't wake her and that my voice doesn't wake her. So I really hope she doesn't wake up when I get in the shower, but we will see and uh, I'll update you in a couple minutes. She's waking up so now I have to go check on her. Let's see. Let's hope she stays asleep. All right, it looks like we're probably okay. She just had a little bit of a, uh, a hiccup there. She just kind of started moving around, but she stayed asleep, so that's good. Okay, so we're gonna try this again one more time. Let's try it. Well, as you can see, my shower went over fantastic. Baby is awake once again. All right, what's your problem? Do you want more bottle or what do you want? You just ate. We're just grumpy all the time, aren't we? Yeah, so I know it's probably really hard to see her, but I'm trying to use um, one of the Medela bottles from my pump just to see how she reacts to it because we've been using the Playtex drop-ins and those have been working really, really well for her. But I'm trying to use this bottle just to see what happens. I know she can drink a lot faster out of it, so I want to see if she's going to spit up or what. Um, we're talking about getting her the next size up nipple for her Playtex bottles um, because I think that she can probably do a little bit better with the next size up. And so we're just kind of testing things out right now. And she's just a little hungry baby. She actually just drank four ounces maybe 45 minutes ago and now she's hungry again. So she's eating some more. What else is new? Hey little piggy, you're a little piggy. You're growing too fast. All right, so I do want to tell you guys about my eye doctor appointment and um, little Madeline is here. We're doing a little bit better now, aren't we? Oh, are you gonna smile at me? Huh? I love you. Hi. Boop. I love Madeline. I love Madeline. I love her. I love Madeline. Trying so hard to suck your thumb, but it's not working. It's not working. It's not. Oh, are you silly? Boop. She's trying so hard. She's been trying to suck her thumb for a really long time, and she can't figure it out. She just sucks on her whole, like, fist, basically. Uh. I don't know if you can tell, because it's so dark. But, see, I'm trying to suck my thumb, and I just can't. I just can't figure it out. I just can't figure it out. Right? See, I can't. I can't figure it out. 
Okay guys, so for my eye doctor appointment, now I think I had mentioned that I had gone to the doctor before um, my vision got really bad, like right after the pregnancy. <clears throat> like my vision is really, really bad to begin with. My prescription on these glasses is negative 8.5. So I'm really, really blind, but my vision has gotten so, so bad that even on my 55 inch screen TV that I sit like four feet away from in my living room, I cannot read anything on it. Like I can't see the text. I don't know what's going on. I just, I can't see it and it's really bad. And so I didn't know if I was starting to get some kind of like double vision or if something was happening. I don't know what the deal is, but either way, I cannot see well at all. So I went to the eye doctor and they said that my prescription was negative nine something now, like it's gone up a full point and they could not correct it to 2020. I think they corrected it to 2060 or 2080, something like that. Like something that still was just not very good. One sec, Madeline needs her binky again. You keep spitting it out. Do you want your binky? You are so silly. You're so silly. Yes, you are trying to suck your thumb again. So, yeah, so the doctor said that since I'm in my 20s and my vision is so bad and they can't correct it, that I need to go to a retina specialist. So I went to the retina specialist, I had my eyes dilated, all this stuff was done, and um, basically they said I had to come in for this test, and I think it was called an ERG or something like that. Um, and it was really bad. I had a really bad headache whenever I had it, and I'm pretty sure I failed the entire test, um, but I won't know until mid-December when I get the results back for it. Um, basically what happened was I sat in this chair, they actually took my glasses off, I didn't have my glasses on for the test, um, and they put a computer screen in front of me, and on the screen there was like a red, like X or something, like plus sign basically, there was a red plus sign, and um, the plus sign would show up, and then around it, it would blink in white and black stripes, and it, like, really, really, really flickered, and it just made you go cross-eyed, and you couldn't see things right, so I had to do it with, like, one eye open and the other eye kind of like this, you know, something in front of both of my eyes, um, and I had all these electrodes on my head, so I had, like, electrodes under my eyes, here and here. I had some on my forehead. They were like down along my face. And uh, Madeline, my goodness. And so I guess those were measuring like my brain activity. Um, and it actually got to the point where I was doing so poorly on them because of the way my eyes were acting that they actually had to put numbing drops in my eyes to like make my eyes stay still and to like prevent me from blinking and stuff because the screen makes you automatically do things like just looking at it, it makes your eyes like jump back and forth and stuff like that and mine were like so crazy that they actually had to give me numbing drops so that that didn't happen so like my eyes basically didn't feel the need to do that I didn't feel like I needed to blink my eyes didn't feel dry or anything it was so bad so we are waiting on the results for those cross your fingers that everything comes back okay but most likely there's probably something wrong I mean I did so bad that one test I had to do like five times before they could even get a result that was readable because my eyes were so bad so I don't know but it was kind of crazy so if you ever have to do an ERG or if you've ever done one I'm sorry they kind of stink so sorry I don't know if I'm crazy or not but I could seriously just sit here and stare at her for hours and hours and hours I could just sit here and stare at her for the rest of the night she's finally sleeping she's so cute oh uh, maybe she's not you gonna wake up she's just so cute and I love her to death so I could sit here and just look at her and watch her sleep which is really boring and mundane but I could just keep doing it and I would have no problem with it. So, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, I am like awfully sniffly, like there's so much stuff in my sinuses. I was pretty much fine from the entire like postpartum period until I went back to work and now my allergies and my sinuses are freaking out again because of how dusty and stuff it is in there. It's just like, my nose is so itchy and I just need to sneeze all the time. It's just terrible, so yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I guess I'll need to go see the allergist or something. But I was doing so well whenever I was at home and staying with Madeline and not going anywhere. But 
now that I'm back to work, I just, I can't stop sneezing and it's really frustrating. So on that note, I think I'm going to head to bed. It's getting kind of late and I think Danny is actually coming home early since he had to go into work early. I think he is going to be home early, but I'm not 100% sure. Like he's going to work early tomorrow, so he didn't go in early today, but he's going in early tomorrow. Um, my sister is coming to watch Madeline and uh, I hope that all goes well. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another day. Tomorrow is Thursday and I don't really have a whole lot planned for tomorrow. I plan on returning to my color guard practice on Saturday. Um, they will be having practice tomorrow, but I'm just giving it like a couple of extra days just to make sure that none of my kids are coming down with any other weird sicknesses or anything like that. So I don't know, we'll see, but I should be going back on Saturday given that none of my kids come down with some bizarre illness of some sort. So, oh and Madeline does have a doctor's appointment on Friday so we have that to look forward to this week also. She gets a lot of shots which I'm not excited for but luckily she won't remember that. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!